Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about hemostasis. Simply, hemostasis means blood clotting. It is generally a physiological process. The pathological counterpart of hemostasis is thrombosis. The formation of blood clot thrombus within non-traumatized intact vessels. So, hemostasis can be defined as precisely orchestrated process involving platelets, clotting factors, and endothelium that occurs at the site of vascular injury and culminates in the formation of a blood clot which serves to prevent or limit the extent of bleeding. The general sequence of events during hemostasis are 1. Arteriolar vasoconstriction 2. Primary hemostasis 3. Secondary hemostasis and 4. Clot stabilization now, let's come to arteriolar vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction means the narrowing of the blood vessels, as shown in the figure here. It occurs immediately and reduces the blood flow to the injured area. It is mediated by neurogenic mechanism and augmented by the local secretion of factors such as endothelin, which is endothelium-derived vasoconstrictor. But if there is no activation of platelets and coagulation factor, the bleeding would resume. Now, let's come to primary hemostasis. Primary hemostasis is the formation of the platelet plug. Due to trauma or injury, the subendothelial VWF, one Willebrand factor is exposed, which promotes platelet adherence and activation. Now, the third point is secondary hemostasis, which is the deposition of fibrin. Along with one Willebrand factor, tissue factor is also exposed. Tissue factor is a membrane-bound procoagulant glycoprotein that normally express by subendothelial cells in the vessel walls, such as smooth muscle and fibroblast. After this, thrombin is generated, soon with binding and activation of factor 7, which clips circulating fibrinogen to fibrin. Fibrinogen is protein attached to fibrin. This fibrin creates meshwork which solidates the initial platelet plug. Now let's come to the last point which is clot stabilization. It is the process in which there is polymerization of fibrin and platelet aggregation which undergo contraction to form a solid permanent plug and hence stopping the hemorrhage. At this stage, counter-regulatory mechanism, example, tissue plasminogen activator TPA are set into motion that limit clotting to the site of injury and eventually lead to clot resorption and tissue repair. Thank you. Hush.